What is going on, my friends? Hank here from Spruce and Brews with some breaking news from the wonderful world of scale modeling. This is a big one, folks. So if you don't follow the Tamiya USA Instagram account, you might have missed this cryptic post from yesterday morning. Around 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, they posted this simple black and white question mark with the following caption. Today at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we will be making a brand new product announcement. What could it be? A brand new RC car kit? A new static model? A new mini four-wheel drive racing kit? Stay tuned. And my initial thought was, yeah, it's probably an RC kit. I'm not as in tune with the RC drops, and I feel like they're releasing those left, right, and center nowadays. And besides, they usually milk the new static releases a little bit. You start hearing about them ahead of time, and then they finally get revealed. But no, this was not the case today. Because right on schedule, as promised, the Tamiya USA Instagram account posted this. Yep, we're getting a 148 scale Lockheed Martin F-35A Lightning II. Wow. Now, regardless of what you think of the F-35 program, it's been controversial since its inception, this is a big deal for Tamiya. So, let's break it all down. The F-35 is a modern, multi-role, jack-of-all-trades stealth combat fighter that's apparently destined to eventually be the main muscle of US and NATO air forces until around the 2070s. Lockheed Martin won a huge contract, the Joint Strike Fighter Program, back in 2001. The F-35 first flew in 2006, and it first saw service with the US Marine Corps in 2015. There are currently just around 1,000 of these putting around throughout the world, and the US has already put money down for nearly 2,500 aircraft by the year 2044. So the F-35 is here to stay, for better or for worse. Now, I won't get super into the weeds here, you can read up on all this for yourself, but when I say for worse, this program has been extremely expensive. Initial estimates for the program were around $200 billion, and by 2017, that figure had doubled up to $406 billion, with lifetime costs for maintenance and upgrades ranging in the trillion-dollar-plus range. The pilot helmet for one of these cost $400,000 alone, so you can see how this goes. It's like when you're starting to build a new model kit. You might spend $40 on a kit, and then you might have to get some aftermarket decals, and some photo etch, and some canopy masks, and just like that, you're at $100. Bucks. Only difference here is, the taxpayers aren't bankrolling my model habit which is a shame. So that's the background on the F-35, roughly. So now onto the kit itself. We know very little about this kit so far, but there's a few things we can glean from the Instagram post and from scalemates.com. Now looking at the box art, which is lovely I might add, we learn a few very important things. A, this clearly has sign off from Lockheed Martin, which is good. And hopefully that means that the designers got some nice up close and personal access to the aircraft. I'd expect incredible engineering from the good folks at Tamiya on this one, which is no surprise at all. B, the only logo on here, other than Lockheed of course, is Tamiya, which means this is an all new tool. We love to see it. Now I was a little worried when I first saw this because a couple of years ago, Tamiya released a reboxed 172nd scale F-35 using an Italary mold. That was kit number 60791, which is a rebox of Italary 1425, which is great, hey, but Italary ain't Tamiya. It is what it is. So this guy, the upcoming 148 scale kit, is all new and all Tamiya. And finally, the box art tells us that this is going to be an F-35A. There are currently three variants of the F-35, four if you include the Israeli modifications to the A model. The F-35A is the Air Force specific model. It's a conventional takeoff and landing vehicle as opposed to its B and C model sisters. The B is a short takeoff and vertical landing platform used mostly by the Marine Corps. And the C variant is a catapult assisted launch system for aircraft carriers and is used primarily by the Navy. So with this kit, you've got the regular traditional takeoff model. Very nice. Unfortunately, my Navy builder friends will have to wait for some modifications that are hopefully coming down the road. Now we've only got a few pictures of the real deal model here all built up. I snagged these from SD scale models on Instagram. I'm not positive where he found these, but thank you, my friend. This is a nice looking kit. I haven't dabbled in the world of contemporary jets much at all, but I'm definitely going to have to pick one of these up when it eventually does come out. Still no word on an official release date for this yet. The caption on the original post from Tamiya USA said more details to follow. And Scalemates has this set as a future release on their website. I'd bet we don't see it until next spring, but then again, we've already got a completed box art and a fully assembled mock-up, so who knows? Maybe it's out in time for the holidays? One can hope. So there you have it, my friends. We're getting a brand new tool, 148 scale Tamiya F-35 Lightning II. Are you excited to pick one of these up? Let me know in the comments below. I'm also curious to hear your thoughts on the F-35 program as a whole. I know everybody's got two cents on that one. And be sure to subscribe right here to Spruce and Bruce Scale Modeling for more breaking scale model news videos, full build videos, tutorials, all that good stuff. And until next time, be well, happy building, cheers.